So over here, I'm in Windows Desktop, and now let us understand how Accent Center works. So Accent Center is located right over here, and you can see that whenever a new notific uh, notification appears, it will appear over here. And if you were to click on this, you can see that there's the Accent Center right here. So on the Access Center, you can see that there's the tablet mode, and as I'm using a desktop, it's disabled right now. You have the network settings, all settings right here, and airplane mode. If you want more uh, settings right here, let's say if you want uh, um, to expand the uh, setting, you can just click on expand right here and you get more setting right here, just like that. So you get network, you got focus assistant right here, there's Bluetooth, VPN, and everything else, uh, which is located right here. If you want to further, uh, further go on into the settings, you can go to all settings right from over here in action uh, settings. So I'm going to go over here into action panel on the all setting. And if I were to click on it, the window setting actually appears right over here. So you got system options like display, notation and everything over here. As you can see, there's the device option right over here. There's phone and everything else. So every setting is right here. And if you want uh, to look for a particular setting like power option, for example, I can type it in the search and it'll appear just like that. And if I have to click on show all result, it'll show all of the results. If I want to go back, I can just click back right here and it goes back just like that. So let's say I want to personalize my accent setting right here. For example, I want to set up this. I can go to system right here and I can go towards the uh, settings right here for notification and action, which is the action center settings right here. So I'm going to go to notification and action and you'll be able to see that I got the exact same thing right here. So you can see that once I click it, the tablet mode is right here. So since my tablet mode is not there, maybe I want to drag the tablet mode at the end just like this. And now if I were to go back, you can see that the tablet mode is at the end. But altogether, let's say I want to remove the tablet mode so I can click on add or remove quick access. And once I click on it, you can see that I can enable and disable certain actions. So I'm just going to disable the last one, go back, and you can see that the tablet mode is not there anymore. So you can also show the notification in lock screen and everything else. And we're going to talk about all of these in detail in future lessons, just like that. So this is the setting as you can see right here. So if you were to go back, this is the basic settings that you can work around with just like that. And you can also go, you can also go to the Windows setting, not by over here, but from the start menu, right from over here. From the start menu on the left side, you can see that there's this gear like icon and that's the setting. I can click on it, you get to the same option right here. You can also go to the start menu and click on this icon right here and you can see that this means settings. So I can actually go over here and you find the settings right over here. So now you can, uh, what you can do is you can also go for advanced settings by going into control panel. And in the latest version of Windows updates, it's uh, quite uh, difficult to um, access the control panel easily. So you can go over here onto the network and internet. And as you can see, let's go over here onto change adapter setting right here. It actually brings up control panel. So this is much more detailed version of the setting. So you can go to control panel and this is a control panel right here. But what, what if you want to directly access control panel? In order to do that, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to the start menu right here and simply type in control. And there you go, control panel. And if you don't find it, just type in control panel. It should be there. So once I click on it, the control panel is there. And it is similar to uh, the previous version of Windows if, if you have used them. So there's the category at the top right, as you can see. So you can view it as a category. You can view it as large icons, just like that, if you want to access more settings. And you can see it as small icons as well. I prefer the category because like it is much more uh, convenient right here. You know where to look for it. So you want to work with security, you can access things right here. You want to work it with accounts, it's here. Appearance and personalization right here. So these are the settings that you can access in Windows 10. So there, this is how you can utilize the accent settings right here, work around with the accent settings, and we're going to talk about notifications in future lessons itself. And that's how you access the settings and uh, the control panel in uh, Windows 10. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.